Welcome back to JC Mode the Garage. So I know with uh, everything going on uh, yesterday, I found out that our kids are going to be out of school for the rest of the the some the rest of the school year and the summer. That's just crazy to me that uh, this is all happening right now. And I hope everybody's staying safe during this time. And uh, my heart goes out to the to the families and the people affected. But uh, just want to make sure everybody's staying safe and. Uh, so we're about to head out to the garage today. Uh, we're gonna work on the sander a little bit because that's pretty much everywhere we could go right now. So we're gonna head out there, take some stuff with us, uh, grab the vacuum cleaner, my staple gun, so we can do the shift boot and uh, grab my multimeter so we can start diagnosing the sunroof. So uh, let's do that now and uh, we'll see you at the garage. All right, so we're at the garage and uh, I'm gonna get the stuff out of my Jeep and we're gonna start working on it and I'll show you what uh, me and Corey did the other car to the, the other stuff to the car the other day with the battery in and everything in and uh, starts right up. So let's check it out. All right, so before we work on the car, I just wanted to show you what I did to my Jeep. So I did the rear view uh, camera uh, license plate mount. I got a LED light. I ran it from that side over there, got the rear view camera on, got my delete bracket right there, so I got that done. And uh, we also put uh, some American flags on the car, so we got that done. It looks so awesome, I love it. And then we got our, uh, we got our cow pieces. So next, uh, I don't know what uh, we want to do next to it. I might have to get a new bumper because when I bought it, some of the uh, crunched it on that side. But I want to do the, the fenders. I want to rhino line those black and uh, do some other things. I got to fix the, fix the radio bezel piece. I might have to get a new piece because the one I bought is junk. So let's, uh, let's check out the Saturn. So uh, the other day, me and uh, Corey were over here and uh, we installed the battery and we got that done and the trunk is locked or the hood's locked so let's go in here and uh, let's go in here and open it up so we got the car started the other day and we got the AC blasting and it was really cold so we got that uh, so we don't have to worry about that the AC is working awesome um, so we're gonna do the ship boot. I'm gonna try to get the ship boot off today and get that done I bought my staple gun so we can get that all off of there and get it all cleaned up I bought the vacuum cleaner over here so we can get this start vacuumed out and uh, I'm gonna start troubleshooting the the sunroof because right back here I'll show you real quick what we found out is right up right up here I don't know if you can see it, but right here is your uh, vents, your water vents for your uh, for the sunroof. And looks like it's dirty and it looks like it's got a lot of stuff in here when I push on this. So we're going to get this cleaned out today and then we're going to install these back and see if this actually uh, doesn't leak. Because we were getting water there and then we were getting water over here, which you can see right there. There's another vent tube right there. And you can feel in there, there's a lot of stuff and debris in there from when it has been sitting for a while. So we're gonna have to clean that all out. Stick something up there, get that all cleaned out. I got a vacuum cleaner. So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna try to vacuum it and see if we can get some of the stuff out. But other than that, let's, uh, let's check out the hood real quick and uh, we'll check the battery and everything that we put in the car the other day. So, so we got a brand new battery in there. We got a PCV valve in there. We got all the air intake on there. So that's all done. Um, we need to get a new air filter, but we'll get that later. So we got that done. Um, I got a new piece for that to hold the air, part of the air box in, but I forgot it at home. So uh, yeah, so let's jump into this and uh, figure out what we're gonna do next. All right, so we checked the fuses the other day for the sunroof and they were good. So I went to go take this off here and I was checking the switch right here and it wasn't working. So I pulled this down and was trying to get this out of here. And I went up underneath here because there's just Velcro pieces right there and right there you can see. There's the motor and I think the problem we have 
is that it's not plugged in. Did you believe that? So we're gonna plug this in real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna see if it works. So let's do it and uh, see if it works. If not, then I'll check the power to this right here because this is the one that goes to the motor. This one goes to the switch. So we'll check the power here when I hit the switch and see if we're actually getting power to it. So if we are, then it's the motor. The motor's bad. But I don't hear nothing from the motor. I don't hear no grinding noise. I don't hear no whining. I don't hear nothing coming from it. So let's do that now and then uh, I'll be right back and let you know what's going. What's up. All right, so I got that uh, plugged in to the sunroof and there's the switch. So we're gonna turn this on real quick. And then we're gonna hit this switch and we're gonna see if it works. And it works. Oh my goodness. Look at all that dirt from this not running for so long because it wasn't plugged in. Could you believe that? It wasn't plugged in to the motor. So we need to clean this all out and grease it up. Clean this all. So I'm gonna do that real quick, get that all cleaned up. I'm gonna vacuum um, all that dirt underneath the sun riser, the sun um, visor there. And then uh, I got some grease, so I'm gonna grease it up and then uh, put it back in there and put the panels back in there. So one thing done. So good thing, good thing that thing works now. And uh, so now we got to move to the trunk leak and we got to vacuum it out and then we're gonna put the new uh, shift boot on there. So I'll show you how that comes off. And I got my staple gun, my electric staple gun. So we'll staple it, as you can see right here. It's stapled right there and all on there. So we're gonna have to do that, stretch it down and staple it and we'll get that done get this all cleaned up you can see there's a lot of hair in here and a lot of dirt and uh we're gonna order some paint for this we're gonna sand this all down and we're gonna paint all this and then uh we're gonna see about the pen striping for this so we'll do that in a separate video we're gonna figure out if we're gonna keep them on there so uh i don't know if we're gonna keep the pen striping on there comment below let me know if you uh if you like the pinstriping, we'll try to get something similar and try to put it on there. I might sand it down. I don't know yet. I'm trying to find out the, the color because right now it's, uh, it's like a black and silver. So I don't know if this is actually painted on or it is, um, it's just a, um, a vinyl wrapping or vinyl pinstriping all the way down. So. Let's do that now. I'm going to get this all cleaned up, vacuumed out, and then uh, I'll show you when we're done. So let's do it. All right, so I got the sunroof all cleaned up and got the, um, the gasket that runs out of the weather stripping that runs along there. And uh, got the tracks all cleaned out there and there. And uh, got these undone right here. So there's one clip here. And there's one clip on the other side and you just pull it out. So we're about to pull this out and see how dirty this is. Look at this. Look how dirty that is. And we'll uh, clean this up and get this all uh, conditioned and uh, seal this. And so we'll pull this off to the side so it don't get broken. And uh, see it's so Saturn. So it's probably, uh, it's from factory, so. We're going to keep it on here because I, I like it on here. So I'm going to vacuum this up and get this cleaned up. And then uh, we'll close the sunroof. And uh, we'll open back up again and see if it's working better. I'm going to grease these tracks on this side and that side. But after I get this cleaned up, and then uh, we'll uh, start on the leak in the trunk. So either that or we'll do the um, ship boots. I don't know. We'll figure out what's going to be the easiest. I got some stuff to do at the house today and uh, I got today and tomorrow off and got to go back to work on Thursday for the weekend so uh, we'll do this now and uh, we'll see how much better it looks all right so I got the sun uh, visor for the sunroof off and I got it all vacuumed and I got it all clean wiped down it looks so much better still gonna need cleaned up up here I'm gonna get some armor all and uh, 
armor all this and clean this all out. I still got to grease the track, so I'm gonna do that. But uh, yeah, I guess so. We got the got the sunroof on or sunroof working and uh, got it all cleaned up. Got the visor out, so that's pretty much done for now. Um, so we're gonna start working on the. I think we're gonna start working on the shift boot here. So I'm gonna start getting this off. So we'll get this off of here and then uh, we'll get the shift knob off and all that. But I'm gonna show you real quick uh, what we bought for it. So. All right, so this is what we bought for it. We bought a new shift boot and we bought a new shift knob. So that's gonna go in there on the shifter. So I'm gonna take that all off of there. We'll put this on. We'll staple it and then uh, put the new shifter knob on and we'll see what it looks like. So kind of see uh, before before and after. I think we're going to get a red uh, steering wheel cover to kind of accent the, the shifter. But look at how nice. Look at how nice that's going to look once we're all done with this. New shift boot, new knob, sunroof works. So that's good. Got it all cleaned up so uh we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to put everything back here so i'll put everything back in that panel so now that everything is working right so let's uh let's tackle this and once i get this off i'll uh i gotta figure it out first how to get the shifter knob out because there's a little plastic piece and i don't think it has um i don't think it has a screw from the front or the back that holds this on i think it's just a plastic piece and i think you um separate it and pop it off i don't know yet but once i get it off i'll let you guys know how to get it off and then we'll we'll get the other shifter off and we'll put this on we'll staple it and uh we'll do that and then we'll vacuum it so let's do it all right so i got the staples out from here and i got the shift boot the plastic piece that goes there so it just clips in right there and right there and it just clips clips down right there so i got that up and i got all the staples out so now i just need to take the staples out of here and uh so we're gonna get this off real quick and we're gonna pull this off i kind of stretched it out a little bit so we can peel this off here so let's get this old boot off let's get this off let's be done with this there we go boom it's off and uh let's throw that away so now i just gotta figure out how to get this off of here so we're probably gonna have to pull this up like this and like i said there's a there's a plastic retainer piece i don't know if you can actually see it right there so we're gonna have to figure out how to pull this up and get the shifter knob off of here i think i yeah i think it's from the i think it's from the front here so if you can look and see from the front right there let me show let me shine my light so you can actually see. There we go. So, yeah, right underneath there. So we'll have to get the shifter boot off, or the shifter knob, and then uh, we'll put the new one on, and then uh, we'll put that on, and we'll staple it up. So let's do it. And as soon as I get it done, um, as soon as I get that off of there, I'll show you how I did it. So let me get in here real quick and show you what I did. So to take the shifter knob off right here, so all you do is you put it down in fourth gear and you hit it with a hammer you hit it right there and you pull up on it and it popped right off so we got that done so that's out so when we go to put this on this piece right here goes over this like that and then your shifter knob goes over here but you can see that there's a screw there there's a screw there and there's a screw there so there's a package of screws that came with it and a little allen wrench right here so you put those little pins in those little screws in you tighten those down so let's get the shifter um boot on and get these plastic pieces uh get these um staples out of here and then uh we'll put this on we'll staple it all up and uh we'll put it all together and uh tighten it down and we'll see what it looks like so i'll give you kind of before and after so let's do it all right so i got the shift boot on there and i'm getting ready to uh put this piece on here like this then well 
I think I think this piece goes on and then this piece goes over top because when I try to put that over there it didn't work so let's put this piece on here because this is actually a little um, piece that holds the shifter in place so let's put this on real quick and uh, I'm gonna put this on there and then I'll be right back all right, so I got the shifter knob on and I got all these screws tightened up here with the Allen key. And I got this piece up here. So this just piece just goes up here and it turns in place like this. So I gotta get this up just like this. I gotta get it right on there, there we go. And this screws up just like this. See, and that one's gonna look so numb, so much nicer. And look, it goes into gear, so that's good. Now we got it in neutral now, so let's put it in gear. Now I gotta push this up right here over this, so this will sit flush right up with this. So let's do that now, because I don't have uh, two hands because I'm holding the camera, so let's do that now. And then uh, we'll figure out the length down here, and I'm not gonna cut it. I think I'm just gonna fold it I'm just going to fold it under like this, and then I'm going to staple it that way. So I think that'll be the best thing to do, because if I cut this, it might unravel, because it's all, it's stitched all the way down to the bottom, and I don't want it starting to unravel. So, so I'm going to do that. So let me get that off of there, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do as far as the length and fold it under, and then I'll get my staple gun. We'll staple it, and a uh, new shift knob looks good so let's do that and then uh we'll see what it looks like at the end so we'll show before and then we'll show an after picture all right well the ship boots in and it's all done it's all tightened up so i just gotta figure out this right here as far as this, the rubber boots over there so i'll figure that out but it's all it's all installed and i just gotta tighten it down and uh figure out how far i'm gonna do this so i'll do that and uh i'll do that off camera and have it all set up and stapled and then uh we'll check it out when uh in the next uh in the next video when we start cleaning this interior and stuff like that so yep looks a lot better than the old one and i like the red stitching so we'll get something to go with the steering wheel some kind of red accent so it'll uh so to go with that, so it just won't be just right in here. We still got to clean up this turn. Well, we took off the blue cover, so. We got that done today and uh, got the sunroof working and we got it all cleaned up. So got it all cleaned up here and we got the sunroof visor off there. Got it all cleaned up, vacuumed out. Got this all cleaned up, so it was nasty. So I'm gonna have to go home and get some grease and we'll grease this up and uh, we'll do that. So we'll close the sunroof and uh, yeah. So look how much nicer that looks. I like it, looks cool. All right, so uh, today we got the sunroof working because it wasn't plugged in. We got it cleaned up and we got the shift knob off, the shift boot off. We got the new one installed. It looks so much better than it did. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook at JC Motor Garage. That's it for today, but make sure you give us a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And we'll, get, we'll see you back on JC Motor Garage.